Hello everybody and welcome back to another monthly update. July is over, finally. I mean, I feel like July lasted half a year. It was so bad. And then yesterday I found out that almost all of July, uh, Mercury was in retrograde. I didn't used to believe in that, those kind of things, but um, I started connecting the dots and you know what, I do believe now uh, so yeah, I'm guessing that's why um, it, it was such a long month for me. Uh, I didn't also didn't have many favorites because it was just uh, one of those, you know, one of those days when you feel very, very sad and you don't want to do anything. Well, the whole month was <laughs> like that for me, especially because things just kept going wrong and wrong and wrong and well it's finally over uh, i feel a bit happier now uh so we're gonna talk about my july's favorites no song this time because again i i just didn't want to even listen to fucking anything uh but the first movie i watched was you know me spider-man far from home oh my god to me I love all of the Spider-Man movies. I do. Tobey Maguire, he was... I don't think he was as cute as Spider-Man as Andrew Garfield. And I thought Andrew Garfield was perfect as Spider-Man, even though he didn't look like a nerd. You know, Peter is kind of a nerd and everybody bullies him and things. He didn't look like a nerd to me, like a loser. But still, I loved him. And then... Tom Holland came along. You all know how much I love Tom Holland. I got to the conclusion that I only love him because Spider-Man. I wouldn't even know him if it wasn't for Spider-Man. But now I think he's the most perfect Spider-Man ever. The perfect amount of loser and nerd and the perfect amount of, oh my God, he's beautiful and young. Cause I knew Andrew wasn't that young. I think he was like 20 something when he, also, Tom is 20-something, but he's in his early 20s. I think Andrew was in his late 20s when he played Peter Parker. And Toby, he didn't look like a teenager either. But Tom, he just, he looks so young. He actually looks 16 and he, it's the perfect amount of nerd and young and Peter Parker. I just fucking love him. I didn't like that Dash was changed. I mean, I don't mind that much because I hate him just as much, <laughs> but um, I don't know, the other Dash was a lot more scary. This Dash, he just looks like a loser, not scary at all, not a bully, you know? So I kind of didn't like that change. And the Mary Jane change, uh, I didn't like it either. I want it. I'm sorry. I, I'm, people keep coming at me because, oh my god, you're a racist. I'm not, why do Hollywood have to change always the redheads, always? I wanted my redheaded Mary Jane, I'll admit it. I wanted her freckles and I wanted her redheaded beauty. But um, in the beginning, in the first Spider-Man, I was like, God damn it. And then I watched The Greatest Showman and I just completely fell in love with Zendaya. So. Yeah, I guess I don't mind MJ anymore. I did want it to see like the popular MJ, the beauty that everybody wants and shit. And this MJ is just creepy, weird and another loser. But okay, I mean, more realistic, I guess, that Peter scored the other loser instead of the beautiful, popular, blah, blah, blah. Not saying that Zendaya isn't beautiful, but the way they put her in MJ, not as beautiful. Second movie I watched and I actually reacted to it on my Patreon page. Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. I don't know the whole name, it's long and I don't remember, but Miss Peregrine's. I loved it so much. I didn't know it was a Tim Burton movie. I don't know why it took me so long to watch it. I think that if I would have known that it was a Tim Burton movie, I would have watched it from the beginning, but I downloaded it <laughs> like two years ago. 
and I never, just never got around to watch it. I started watching it like three times and I would always stop because either a blackout or I fell asleep or something. And it's not boring at all. It's not like I fell asleep because I was bored. I just, I just fell asleep. But yeah, I definitely loved it. And it was one of those movies that left me with this empty feeling inside, like, like, like sadness, but not sadness, like nostalgia, but I, I don't know. One of those movies, you know, you know you love the movie when you feel like that when it ends. Third movie I watched was The Lion King. I definitely enjoyed it, even though the lions, the animals weren't expressive at all. I know people are like, oh, they just wanted to make more realistic animals. Oh yeah, where, where are the dicks and the balls? I don't see them. They didn't have a penis, they didn't have balls. Not realistic at all. <sighs> So yeah, I did want to see Simba cry. I did want to see him be a bit more surprised. Like even the ears wouldn't move. They, it, it, he was just like that. He, he, if he would have been sad or something, he would have moved the ears down. Something, you know what I'm saying? I have a cat. She moved her ears a lot. That's how they express whatever they're feeling. And in the movie, it was just, they, they didn't even move. So yeah, I really wanted a bit more expressive animals but whatever they wanted to make them realistic uh-huh i was a little disappointed that that i'm surrounded by idiots line was cut off i love that line and i didn't think they were gonna make scar as big of a drama queen as he was because oh more realistic but they did i mean i i, I felt like scar was such a drama queen even in this live action movie as in the uh, the animated film so yes and also the, the Hulu dancing thing I didn't think they were gonna do that because it wasn't realistic um, so I thought I was gonna be disappointed by whatever they were gonna do but oh my god I was not disappointed at all because they started singing Be Our Guest from Beauty and the Beast and if you know me uh, you know that I love Beauty and the Beast, it's my favorite Disney princess movie, so I started crying. I cried from the beginning to the end, I, it was good, but the only thing I didn't like was that the non-expressive, more realistic without the balls animals. And the last movie I watched was You, Me and Him, and it's a movie with David Tennant. I decided to download it because David Tennant with a beard. And I ended up loving it so much. It's about two lesbian girls. They're a couple and they want to become a family. Well, one of them does because she's old enough. The other one is too young and she's like, I don't know. And then the next door neighbor steps in, which is David Tennant, and things start to get a bit crazy. I definitely love David Tennant. I've said it a million times and I will continue to say it. He can act however the fuck he wants. He can be a villain, he can be a hero, he can be a, an, an asshole, he can be whatever he wants. I will never get tired of saying how great actor he is. He is one of the greatest, okay? One of the greatest actors alive right now. and. Oh my God, please the gods need to give him life and strength to live for over a hundred years. I hope I die first. I don't want to see him die. I don't want to go through that. I won't see him die, but you know, I don't want to be alive when he dies. And in shows, I just started watching Glee last week, last Sunday. I am almost done with season one or done with season one i don't remember it's been almost a whole week so yeah um started watching glee i don't know why i mean i started watching it years ago because i i watched first the glee project with uh, sam samuel larson and matthew something i don't even remember the names so I was like, you know what, I, I should really start watching Glee before watching these reality shows. And I started season one, but I never finished it. You know, I've said it a million times. If I don't react to a show or a movie, I will probably not watch it or start and never finish. 
I need to either react to it or watch it with a, with a friend. Last week, I was still very depressed, so I said to myself, okay, you better just lock yourself up in your room and watch something, just binge the whole season, whatever, just don't leave your room. And I did, and I started Glee, um, and I really am enjoying it. I'm enjoying it a lot. I can't wait to wait to, to get in that season where Sammy Larson is in and I love him so much by the way and I shouldn't like I usually finish things before putting them in my favorite but because I only had a few movies to talk about I decided to put it in my favorites and yeah hopefully I will finish it this time and not like the first time I started watching Glee a million years ago and I never finished hopefully hopefully I will finish it this time and there's also an episode with sorry Jessica Parker Sex and the City is my favorite show in the world so I really want to get to that episode I only saw them like the video of them singing and stuff singing let's have a kinky I love that song uh, so they they made a cover of that song and it was so great because Sarah Jessica Parker but whatever okay I'll stop talking now this was it these were all my favorites and thank you for watching this video let me know if you watched the movies or if you've seen glee i mean everybody on the planet has seen glee i'm the only one who you know but whatever and yes i a hundred percent recommend if you haven't seen because um spider-man miss peregrines and the lion king are so popular i'm guessing everybody already watched them but if you haven't seen you me and him watch it it's really cool and um David Tennant's wife uh, makes a cameo there. It's interesting to see them work together other than the doctor and the doctor's daughter, but whatever. Yeah. Thank you for watching this video, and as always, I'm Saramiano, and I'll see you in my next video. I am Peter Pan, I'll never be a man if you never want to grow. Take my hand, I'll take you to Neverland. I am Peter Pan, I'll never be a man if you never want to grow. Take my hand, I'll take you to Neverland.